Hey, welcome back to the more Titanic Lies. If you want to see the original series, Titanic Lies, go to my channel, Village Prisoner Set Free. How do you pronounce binoculars or lenses for viewing faraway objects? We have four beats. Ba knock you lures binoculars binoculars binocular how do you pronounce binoculars thank you <laughs> there are some other things the titanic didn't have on board she sailed from Southampton on April 10th, 1912. For one, she didn't have any binoculars for her lookouts. Somehow they'd been locked away and the key misplaced. For another, she carried far too few lifeboats, only about enough for half her passengers and crew. The crew had never worked. Okay, let's talk a little bit about that, the binoculars. <laughs> Did you like hearing or pronounce binoculars. <laughs> or lenses for viewing faraway objects. We have four beats. Ba, knock, you, lures. Bin so what about the ba, knock, you, lures? Now you have to understand that the Titanic, the real birth of the Titanic is in literature. And I'll get around to doing a video on the identification of the piece of literature. It serves partially as a script. So it's not really born in a shipyard, it's born in a writer's desk. and it contains symbolism. So you have symbolism in the whole understanding of no binoculars. Now at first he said there was no, no, no binoculars on board. Well, that wasn't correct. It said they were on board and they were locked up and they couldn't get access to the key. So the story goes. Now it's a storyline and it has significance in literature. So they are symbolizing the bringing of perspective and representing the subconscious mind. representing the idea that you can see things and you can see them rather clearly. This article represents, uh, rep this article mentions The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald and the use of binoculars. They're associated with adventure and exploration and curiosity and wonder. So just the mere mention of them gets your curiosity. But once again, they're used for focusing and focusing in things that are far off. So in other words, there's no focus. People cannot get it because the binoculars were missing for the lookouts. Up in the crow's nest. Okay, I'm just simply trying to show you that binoculars has 
a symbolic meaning in literature. And this particular article here, the writer wants to speculate and say that because there were no binoculars, if they had the key to that binocular cabinet, maybe the whole thing never would have happened. Because the lookouts would have been uh, on guard and they would have been able to see the phony iceberg off in the distance. So strange history, why the lookouts on the Titanic had no binoculars. Yes, they had no binoculars. Binoculars they had no on the Titanic. <laughs> no binoculars! Meaning, you can't understand it. You don't have binoculars. You don't have perspective. You're not in the cabal system. You don't understand hoaxers and liars. The whole thing was nonsense. Fictional. Dreamed up in literature and passed off as an event in reality. It was real. R-E-E-L. Fictional. A reel running through a movie projector. It never happened, folks. That's why there were no binoculars for the lookouts in the crow's nest. Thank you for watching this video. End of video.